In this video, we'll look at the life cycle of tapeworm. The life cycle of tapeworm begins in the intestine of man. In the intestine of man, when the proglottide containing the fertilized eggs becomes mature, it pulls from the body of the tapeworm and then falls down the small intestine. So because this mature proglottide which has fallen down the small intestine is unattached to the wall of the intestine, it is passed out of the body along with feces into the soil. In the soil, the mature proglottide ruptures to release the eggs. So when pig feeds on food in the soil that contains this fertilized egg, they are automatically taken into the body of the pig. So when the eggs get to the small intestine of the pig, they hatch to produce the larva. From this stage, the larva migrates through the wall of the small intestine to the muscles of the pig. And there it develops a cyst around itself to form the bladder worm, which is also known as the cysticercus. So when man eats an undercooked pork meat, which is infected with this bladder worm, the bladder worm is automatically taken into the body of man and when it gets to the small intestine the digestive enzymes of man act on it and a young tapeworm is formed so this young tapeworm after some time then grows into the adult tapeworm which then attaches itself to the wall of the small intestine so a summary of the life cycle of tapeworm is that the life cycle begins in the small intestine of man as fertilized egg so from there the fertilized egg are taken in by the pig when it feeds on food in the soil that contains the fertilized egg so from there the eggs moves to the intestine of the pig where they develop to form the larva so after the larva has been developed the larva then migrate through the wall of the small intestine of the pig to the muscles of the pig where it forms a cyst around itself to form the bladder worm and then when man eats an undercooked pork meat that contains the bladder worm the bladder worm are automatically taken into the body of man which then develops into the young tapeworm and then after some time grows back to the adult tapeworm and then attaches itself to the wall of the small intestine of man So the important facts which you must know from the life cycle of tapeworm is that since the life cycle of the tapeworm starts in man, man is therefore the primary host while the pig is the secondary host because the life cycle continues later in the body of the pig. Another important fact that you must know here is that the infective stage of tapeworm is the bladder worm or the cysticercus. The infective stage of any parasite or any disease is the stage where it enters the human body and the stage where the tapeworm enters the body of man is the bladder worm stage. The bladder worm also known as the cystic circles, like I explained in the previous page, is found in the muscles of the pig. So when man eats an undercooked pork meat, the bladder worm, which is also known as the cysticercus, is automatically taken into the body of man, which then develops into the young tapeworm and then grows to an adult tapeworm that attaches itself to the wall of the small intestine. So this is all you need to know about the life cycle of tapeworm.